Yeah, it's fun. A lot of like hype trains got derailed, you know. Um, love like, to see it. Love to see it. Uh, you know, the Demir was a uh, he was a big hyped uh, lightweight. Um, Bonfim got derailed, uh, and there's a couple other ones that we'll talk about later. All right, uh, man. Coming back to the UFC, we had Kevin Lee versus uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the last name or not. Fakradinov. Fakradinov, there we go. Fakradinov, that's good. That was good. I don't even know if it's right. You say it confidently <laughs> we'll, enough. And... <laughs> we'll roll with it, though. Fak- Fak- Fakradinov. Fakradinov. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, everybody was hyped for Kevin Lee's return. I know I was hyped for Kevin Lee's return. Um, you know, look, Kevin Lee, <laughs> we, don't, we don't know what Kevin Lee we're going to get, like, ever. Yeah. Ever since <laughs> yeah. – the His coach that he was closest to passed away. He's bounced yeah. from gym to gym. Uh, I feel like he's never really settled into his own. He's never really found his own groove. He, he He's never even settled into a gym, really. Mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I, I feel like he's been trying to just find himself for the past few years. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Kevin Lee. And I know he's got like a ton of haters and stuff. But it's like I think I've always kind of been a fan of the people who I felt were like misunderstood in fighting. And like mm-hmm. – it sounds crazy to say this now, but like, like the Diaz brothers were perfect examples of that. For a long time, it was like weird to be fans of them. People were like, "What the fuck? Why would you be a fan of that guy?" Like either of them, really. Uh, now people, they're not misunderstood. Now people think they're sick, right? But Kevin Lee kind of a similar thing where I think he's misrepresented or misunderstood a lot, and people clown him for saying certain things. Like I see holes in Habib's game. That's like a meme with Kevin Lee, right? Um, but it's like. You can't really just take people what they say at surface value. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. if you're a fighter, you have to almost have this like, like bravado or like, uh, like ultra confidence and say these crazy things because when you do capitalize on them, people are like, "Damn, he called it. He called it early. Said he was going to beat so and so. You know, and it, it, he knew he was great. All this stuff, and it, it was a big reward. But when there's struggle involved, uh, people kind of clown you for saying those types of things. And I feel like that's kind of, I don't like that about. The, the sport or like the fan base um yeah and I, I don't think it's just that will but like uh one of the biggest things right like uh the, the just the mental game that goes into this and like yeah. in baseball will if you're walking mm-hmm. up to the play and you're saying i'm about to strike out i'm about to strike out yeah I'm about to strike out. what happens out. <laughs> yeah so it, in in fighting man if you're thinking to yourself hey i'm going up against habib i'm going up against one of the goats yeah he's gonna take me down he, he's going to ground and pound me. I'm going to lose. I'm out in the first round. What do you think is going to yeah. happen, man? So these guys have to be ultra confident. They, themselves. they themselves. have to say, yeah, they do have to say, hey, I see holes in the game and I think I can exploit those. Yeah. You know, and there are holes. If you don't, you already lost. You already yeah. lost. And the things that he said, I mean, it was similar to what uh, Magomedov did against Sean Strickland. It's like Habib's got that ultra heavy presence. He's pressuring you, pressuring you, pressuring you. Front kicks to the body. That's what he was saying. Front kicks to the body are going to zap his gas tank, things like that. There are holes there. That is a hole. That's like an opportunity uh, to land something and and have some success against Habib. Implementing it and actually doing it is another thing, right? Yep. Um, Nobody was able to. uh, But that doesn't mean that the the hole isn't there, that it's not a valid thing to say. But there's other things that he said. But he's never been... He's never been... um, like hateful you know it's not like he's saying like people judge him off his words and stuff uh but he's not like i don't know he never says anything derogatory he never crosses a line talking about except for unless you're uh kiesa right maybe he crossed the line with kiesa saying something about his mom even though he never he didn't even like really say anything bad about it like don't talk about my mom. yeah don't talk about my mom. Dude, I'll we're never forget that, that, man. We're there for yeah. we're there live for that press conference. Ke- that was a Kevin blast. Lee liked liked my picture on Instagram. Maybe that's why I'm a fan. He liked my picture on Instagram when we were there, and I posted <laughs> the, the picture of us there. Um, but so I'm a fan of Kevin Lee. So maybe there is bias involved. But I also wasn't looking forward to too. this. I wasn't looking forward to this. I don't think he should be at 170. Uh, he blew his knees out against Jago Sanchez mid fight, uh, and didn't look great in that in Eagle, Eagle FC. Uh, so I, I, it sucks to say, but I think the game is kind of past Kevin Lee, and I kind of thought that already before this fight, and 
dude, just seeing him move in there, he's got the, the two sleeves on his knees. He's just not – he wasn't explosive like he used to be. He wasn't – he he didn't look light on his feet. He was kind of plodding. He eats that right hand that drops him. He goes in for the takedown. He gets choked out. Fantastic job refereeing by Herb Dean. People don't give refs enough credit when they do a good job. I thought he did fantastic in this fight. Yep. Um, because Kevin Lee is in on this on this uh, this this takedown. His right arm is is trapped, and the left hand is trapped on that on that knee like you see it. So when he goes unconscious from the choke, there's nothing to drop. You know, yeah. there's nothing to signify that he's. It actually looks out. like he's trying to think of his next move while he's. Stuck yeah, there. what do I do here? What do I? Do? Yeah, yeah, because I'm stuck here. Uh, to your point, when uh fuck rid of no fuck, 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 whatever his name is <laughs> when he when he squats down his mm-hmm. right hand right here that you see on the picture by the way if you're just listening and not watching on youtube highly recommend youtube because you can actually see the pictures that we're referencing but that right hand gets stuck between the hip and the thigh right yeah the left hand gets stuck in that right between between your, the thigh your and, the and your calf yeah. yeah and so it looks like you're working towards the takedown mm-hmm. and so Beautiful job by Herb to go over there, kind of tries to get him moving on one side, looks for a response on the other side, and then waves it off after that. It was um, fantastic because because the first one he couldn't tell with the right hand because it was so stuck. Uh, some refs probably would have been like, I think he's fine. I think he's in there. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. I would have been able to pull that hand out and just let it go. But instead, he he goes to the other side, like you said, tries to pull that hand out. Uh, and, and that could have went wrong. If Kevin Lee was conscious and he pulls his arm out, now he doesn't have the grip on on the left side for the takedown, and it's like, yeah. But he was out, and as soon as he let go, he drops face plants and he's and he's out for a while. And that's why I wasn't excited for this return, dude. I really, I do really like Kevin Lee, and uh, so it sucks because he was very promising at one point, and he, it's someone who, like I said, I think he's I think he's pretty misunderstood. Um, the The trajectory in his career was changed by outside forces. And it seemed like he never really was able to, to write that ship, you know? Yeah. And it's we had the last picture of him, uh, you know, kind of face down on the mat, uh, not trying to be disrespectful or anything, but yeah, it's, we've it's seen Kevin Lee at his highest, man, you know, Gregor contending Gillespie. for a title. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. And, and listen to his opponents, man. He's fought Michael Chiesa, Tony Ferguson, Edson Barbosa, Ally Quinta, RDA, uh, Gregor Gillespie, Charles Oliveira, D. Rod. Yeah. He's fought Jacob elite. <laughs> at, yeah, I didn't name him, but you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's gone up against the who's who of mm. of the the top echelon within that division. Yeah, and so I like like you, huge fan. Yeah, huge fan of Kevin Lee. So it sucks seeing him go from all those fighters that we just mentioned contending for a title to uh to that last image right and i i wish him nothing but the best i hope that you know he he bounces back uh mm-hmm. if he decides to retire sometime soon hopefully he finds something that that he likes to do yeah hey shout well, out his Luke, brother, you know his... watching us huh oh dang look that. At that. yeah that's sick. my daughter watching us I, I gotta show. stop cussing now it's a family show <laughs> <laughs> the family show exactly but yeah, uh, Fakhradinov did exactly what he needed to do uh, going into this. Obviously, when they announced this fight, I was like, this seems like the UFC punishing uh, Kevin Lee for leaving and talking all that shit that he did. It's a bummer. Um, yeah, it's, it's a real bummer. Hey, everybody. Romero and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description, and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, Don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, And don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.